Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be a reading for the sign of Virgo. Virgo, my readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted. Virgo, if you wish to donate towards my channel, all the links are in the description box below. So Virgo, let's get into your reading. Virgo, you got a love call out here. Someone expresses love to you. A message of love, thinking of you, and letting you know. So you get a text, a phone call, an email out of the blue from somebody that is wanting to express love to you and let you know that they are thinking of you. You have been on their mind and they feel you in, your, in their energy. Okay, Virgo. All right, we got Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming. A surprise invitation or a meeting. And then we have a boat. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. And closure issues. So somebody's having closure issues. Um, meanwhile, you may have already sailed on. The ship's already gone. Then left the dock and everything else. And somebody is basically trying to pull you back. Um, Jarbo energy. What is that? Ashanti. Every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back. Telling me I need you in my life. Um, is that Jarbo or is that Nelly? Either way, whoever it is. Every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back. So somebody trying to keep pulling you back. Have faith, love is coming. You may be wanting to be in a relationship or you may already be in a relationship. Meanwhile, there's somebody else trying to come into your energy. Um, and if you're not in a relationship, just knowing that you um, could potentially receive a surprise invitation from somebody that, to me, it already seems like you know that this person has their eye on you. They've been watching you. And you might be watching them too, Virgo. It is time for a treat. Time to let your hair down and step out for a while. A miracle is happening in your energy. So time for a treat and a miracle is about to happen for you, Virgo. The numbers are 37 or 73, 21 or 12, okay? angel of alchemy something that you have been manifesting something that's on your mind is totally about to come to fruition for you so something happening for you out of nowhere virgo and it's time for a treat maybe time to relax relate release maybe some meditation on a table or maybe a spa day time to go and just lay back and chill all right some type of relaxing type energy get a massage self-care day basically is on the table um you have the Knight of Cups, creativity, romance, charm, imagination, beauty, the knight in shining armor, following your heart, your prince charming, and a proposal. A proposal for a date or an invitation or a meeting for you to show up somewhere. And this could be single or a person that's already together because it could just be a person that you're already with that sends you a surprise hey, let's go on a date night or something. But anyway, somebody being very creative in the way they come at you. So some type of romantic gesture that happens for you, Virgo. And I'm giving, getting a feeling like you're in a romantic type mood, like a loving, like ready for whatever this is. Bringing beautiful things around you, flowers, candles, just creating a whole vibe, Virgo, is in your energy. All right, so time for a treat. Time to lay back, let your hair down, and just enjoy the moment. Living in the moment is important here for you, Virgo. And this could be like, I don't know why I'm getting the boot energy. Cal going to take me away, laying back in the tub, and just letting your mind drift into another place, another time. So you could be right in your house in your bathroom and be on a different location like literally cow gonna take me away and then just put you in a different type of mood um we have a king of cups energy here somebody that's emotionally balanced very compassionate very diplomatic somebody very much in control of their feelings um somebody that's very supportive somebody that is like a leader very tolerant and very empathetic so they feel you know other people's emotions and all that type of thing but they're imbalanced and they understand how this thing works around here okay virgo all right all right give me some more cards for virgo okay virgo you got uh somebody feels left out in the cold from your energy and they try and get back in where it's warm and 
cozy in there because I, I smell candles and scented things around you. Um, somebody may have taken a financial loss or you may have taken a financial loss behind whoever this person is that's trying to get you back in your energy. And I'm solely getting the vibe of you, no way, Jose, don't care. I'm not letting you back in. And Queen of Swords energy, I'm letting you know that I'm not letting you back in. So please move it along. They could be saying that to you. I don't know. You could want to get back into somebody's energy. Put yourself where you belong at. Meanwhile, somebody's definitely letting people know what it is, how it is, and it ain't happening because this person is saying that you put me in a bad predicament when, when this happened, you did this. And so it's like now that I'm loving myself, moving on and getting, you know, me some clarity as to who I am and what I'm doing. So it's a no for you being very direct and clear minded in your communication. Your perception is very clear and you see things exactly for what they are. You're not clouding your judgment and you're making sure that you know that, nah, I'm celebrating me. I'm celebrating with my friends, my family, the people who love me the most. Um, maybe networking with some new people. Um, being very creative and lots of creativity in your energy, Virgo. So it's like you taking another direction and stepping it up a couple levels. So some collaborations happening here. Um, a definite whole new soul tribe that's bringing you some happiness into your energy, Virgo. All right, what else does Virgo need to know? But I'm getting like a really loving, beautiful vibe surrounding you. Um, we got the nine of swords here, anxiety, worry, fear, depression, nightmares, insomnia, hopelessness, trauma, despair. You don't want to go back to that. And that's not an energy that you're trying to live in because right now it's like, again, Calgon, take me away, taking a, a bubble bath and just relaxing, trying to let your nerves relax from whatever this is. This person calling you or this situation may have really kind of put you in a fit and yeah, I don't want to deal with that. Like, I'm trying to just be peaceful. Meanwhile, these people keep trying me. Um, So somebody's in regret over probably letting you go or basically whatever it was that they did to you. But either way, they're in regret. That's why they're trying to, you know, spin the block is what it seems like to me. Um, Somebody's in regret, very disappointed. And the fact that they lost you and your energy. Somebody wants back into your energy, Virgo. Or you want back into somebody else's energy. But to me, it feels like it's time for you to relax, relate, release. And you're not allowing that. So honestly, it's giving me the vibe of somebody else is trying to get back into your energy. They want to get back into your good graces. And it's giving me like a heavy... Yeah, you you on healing mode for yourself. And not really, you know, like building. Building for yourself. Creating. Uh, under construction. That's the vibe that I'm getting for you. Your energy is under construction. You're taking care of yourself, creating new ways for you to do everything. Being very diligent, very passionate, having high standards, Virgo. Um, yeah, you over that. Death at the bottom. Like you are a new creator, cre a new creator. So you might be doing something online, um, uh, be a content creator or something. So you may have a platform or something, or you may be thinking about a platform because this is learning something new, new skills, doing something different, um, skill development, getting your shit together, and making sure that you know what it is that you're doing. So um, heavy on the foundation building from everything that you're dealing with and that could be your body it could be your money it could be your like personal growth it could be your spiritual growth more or less it's like you dying and coming back a different person so death is endings and beginnings change and transformation a metamorphosis so you're like a butterfly energy here right here virgo like you are changed so the end of a cycle that may be uh cutting your soul ties and making sure that you don't keep repeating the same thing over and over again breaking generational curses and moving forward you don't just are different and people just don't understand that so and it doesn't even matter it's more or less about you and your growth so a miracle is about to happen here for you virgo and it seems like to me like you understand that it's time and you're ready for it so Virgo, this is the reading thank you for coming to my channel if you wish to donate all the links are in the description box below Go with God.